Hi, this is Gilles, the radio prepper. Yes, I do need a haircut. <laughs> you can go to patreon.com and uh, sign up so I can get one. <laughs> All right, so in this video, which is going to be quick, I'm setting up the uh, SWR for my mobile antenna, VHF, UHF. Last time when I went out with my friends, uh, which I'm about to do right now, actually, my uh, spider beam 12 meter mast was uh, against my car and at some point we all heard a crash and it just fell down took my antenna with it snapped it in half so i had to get another one and this is what i got it's a nagoya well i think it is <laughs> there's so many fakes but it's the same one i had before and it worked well about ten dollars so i actually bought two of them <laughs> Just to have a replacement in case someone steals it or I break it again, you just never know. It's simply this going inside the antenna here and you adjust the length, go up and down and just screw it in. But you do need an SWR meter or in my case I do have an antenna analyzer. So we'll do that a little quick and then I'll go have fun, do some radio with my friends. I'm not going to do this here in the parking garage, oh it resonates, <laughs> simply because uh, like my voice, the uh, signal would bounce on the walls and uh, give me a false reading. That should do it. I didn't want to be uh, too close to the uh, metal fence in the back there, so there's a tree here, but uh, it should be all right. There's the base on the hood. Here I have the uh, analyzer plugged in. Uh, by the way, I don't suggest that you get this one. Although it's good, it's a bit expensive uh, today. So the Nano VNA would be uh, a good choice. Now I have to turn it around to make it face outside, of course, because that's where I'm going to be uh, adjusting the antenna. And I'm worried about the sun because uh, those screens, you don't see them very well in the sun. So uh, we'll see. The last one was uh, spot on right out of the box i didn't even have to adjust it so maybe i'll be lucky with this one as well there isn't much of a range of adjustment anyway so it's, it's pretty much plug it in and hope for the best i like it because it's pretty discreet as you can see uh, it's a quarter wave and uh it works pretty well so once again i'm pretty lucky and uh or i guess the antenna is cut to the proper length on 145.5 megahertz it's spot on with an SWR of 1.3 to 1, so uh, pretty good for a quarter wave. Had it not been good enough, I would have simply adjusted the height of the antenna here with the screws and, you know, uh, put it up and down and try different uh, lengths and read the SWR on the antenna analyzer. And that would allow me to, of course, get the minimum uh, SWR, which, you know, I would be happy with uh, 1.5 to 1 or less, even 1.6 to 1. A lot of radios would accept a 2 to 1 ratio. Uh, just check the manual to make sure. But uh, I got 1.3 to 1, so, yeah, you know, I'm really happy about that. I don't have to touch it anymore. That's all set. And the combination VHF uh, and CB, uh, well, looks pretty good. Modern radios will adjust their power to protect the final transistors if the SWR is too high. But you don't want to rely on that really, and if you have too high an SWR, meaning if too much radio frequency is coming back to your radio, then you're going, of course, to lose some signal and lose some range. So, you know, better get below, I would say, yeah, 1.6, 1.5, and then you don't have to worry about it anymore. And now I'm going to go to the mountains and operate my Elecraft K1. Have some fun with uh, Morse code at the uh, Col de Vence. Have a good one.